Still plenty of games to be played in Viking Hall over the next few days, but as far as the winner's bracket goes, we're down to the quarterfinals today with one lone Southwest Virginia team left in the field at the Arby's Classic. Mentor out of Ohio matching up with George With after they pulled off the upset over Dorman thanks to Reed Kurtner's 19 points. Well, stay tuned. Cardinals starting things off with a pass to Ian Iapolo. He swishes home the three. G-Dub, however, had a lot of fight in them. Shane Huff passing to Kurtner who gets his swish, uh, a swish of his own. Later on the cards, Tanner Toot passing off to Matt Bedell who drives in, misses, but he's going to rebound his own layup plus the foul. The Maroon they would go back to the combination of Huff and Kurtner as he uses every part of the rim for this three. That smile got to be a sigh of relief. Kurtner went for 40, but in a back and forth affair, Mentor scores at the buzzer for a 96 95 win. Hard to top that one, but semifinal number two, also pretty good for a while. Harlan County Bears facing Kel Georgia. The Bears starting things off. Maddox Huff backed into a corner, but don't you know when the Bears are backed into corners, they bite. Huff cans the three. Longhorns the other way. Blink and you'll miss it. C.J. Brown, South Florida commit to Cannon Richards. A couple of slam dunk uh, contests, uh, contestants slams at home. Bears still at it despite the defense. Trent Noah, he had 37 in Harlan County's opener. Future South Carolina Gamecock gets the three. Now nearing the end of the first, Zach Graves takes a shot and gets this thing to go. Nothing but nylon. He beats the buzzer. The Longhorns busted open late though. 93-68 to set up a meeting with Mentor in the semifinals. The quarterfinals roll along with South Shore out of Brooklyn, New York, taking on Jackson Reed. The Tigers out of D.C. Division one prospects all over the floor. Vikings start things off with a Kevin Kearney three. He gets it to go. Reed, however, showing what they got with Joe McCray driving. Scotty Hubbard, the Albany commit, swishes home a three from the corner. The Vikings keep that pressure up. Asher Elson giving the ball and he's going to pull up mid range will go down. Justin Gilmore, though, giving the ball to Jaden Ford, highly touted Division one prospect. He won the dunk contest last night as well. He's going to lay this one in through contact. Jackson Reed wins a low scoring battle 56 45 in the final game of the well, but Matter Lakes, Florida comes all the way back to beat Imhotep out of Philly 63 61. So the Bears will face Jackson Reed in that late semifinal number two tomorrow night. Some local teams on the other side of the bracket earlier in the day from Viking Hall Sullivan East falling to South Carolina State Champs Dorman 50 to 37. Corbin Leisure followed up a big first round performance with a near double double. Then Oak Ridge just squeaking by Greenville 60 to 54. Trey Thompson was unleashed 29 points, 10 of 17 from the floor, 12 boards in the close loss and in the afternoon independence after a thriller with South Shore yesterday pushing past the host Tennessee high 65 47 Colin Brown scored another 20 points which gave him 57 through three games at the tournament not too bad Maryville got the better of DB as well 66 44 as the tribe paced by Cam Hayworth he had 15 DB now out after a pair of games